Hey everyone, hey, I'm here. So I've been up since really early in the morning. My kid decided to get up mm, like before the sun came up, which never happens. And I went to bed late last night, so I'm feeling it. <laughs> I remember I ordered, not I remember, I ordered a t-shirt off this like, you know, like a website for my mom and they gave me this for free. If you could see, it says eighth grade squad. Ooh, <laughs> like in like an XXL, like here's your free gift. <laughs> anyway, all right, so free gifts don't always mean something you want or need. It's just something they're probably trying to get rid of, right? Someone like ordered too much of something, so they're trying to make themselves look good by giving it away for free. <laughs> so today's video is kind of on the topic that the title says, but it's gonna go into more detail. So everyone has been, and I don't usually go into this kind of stuff on this channel, but I think it, 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 it poses a good um, lesson for all of us in loyalty, in trusting your gut and not following the masses and doing what you think is best for you which essentially will build your self-esteem and your self-worth. So everyone has been obviously buying, reviewing this new um, Kylie skincare products, right? And you know, you see some controversy about it. You see some um, people who are liking some of the products, not liking some of the other products. And ladies and gentlemen, skincare is going to be different as we know for every skin type unless it's like medically claimed like a proactive or something and and even with things like Rodain and Field and like um you know there are regimens designed for different skin types and we all know this by now in 2019 it's not just a, if you go to the drugstore uh, even if you go to the drugstore and you buy something like Clearasil brand or whatever there's generally different products depending on your skin type, right? Uh, we know by now that like one size fits all is not gonna work for something like that, even for your hair, right? The one size fits all, when you buy stuff like that, it's just in a pinch, quick, you don't have money, you're just trying to get the job done and you're just gonna pray and hope for the best that like you're not gonna break out or something. Okay, so a lot of the reviews pertaining to people with sensitive skin I've been seeing is that some of the products cause irritation. They're using the word burning. Um, I know the eye cream applicator, if you use the applicator itself, it's like scratching people's skin. Walnut scrub, I see that as like an extreme exfoliator. I see those as like booty scrubs, you know, not for your face ever. You know, you can make a sugar scrub in your kitchen and it'll work a thousand times better. Sugar scrubs are fine, they're safe. You know, I don't think there's anything you know, majorly wrong with a sugar scrub. I've started using one recently and I'm actually liking it. But you can always make your own scrubs. I went to a school to become an esthetician. It was one of the trades I um, studied um, throughout my career of schooling that I've had. <laughs> different, different, different types of schooling that I've, I've, uh, I've accumulated under my belt. And um, you know, again, the fragrance in the product, that's irritating. You know, if you have sensitive skin, you know, you should not just go for a one, buy, you know, one size fits all type of skincare routine. If you have fine lines and wrinkles, if you have hyperpigmentation, you know, you can't just have like something that's gonna solve that problem as like the last um, listed ingredient on a product. That We all know the top few ingredients are what the major ingredients are gonna be. Anything with acetyl alcohol, anything with fragrance, um, anything that's drying is going to be very irritating probably to someone with sensitive skin. So I'm assuming this skincare line is probably best fit for people with normal skin. I don't even see it being good for someone with acne um, from what I've been seeing from the reviews. And um, it's really not really a hit I'm seeing. So why are people still like gung-ho like Kylie's skin like I hated this product it was burning my skin but you know what I love it you know get this one and this one instead like don't get these three products but these two products work good but like did they work good or did they just barely work you used them once on a review 
what I'm noticing is that people will literally show you that their skin is burning and still and still want to be loyal to a brand now why is that why do people even if your skin is literally burning literally like inflamed you're crying you have to I have to get it off why would you still in your good faith in your heart recommend something like that to somebody Sorry, my video got cut off before I ran out of space storage and now I'm going to have to try to edit these together and it's going to be a nightmare. Anyway, <clears throat> but why? Why do people do that? Why? It's because, let's dig deeper, it's Kylie Jenner. People don't want to be left out. It's like being the cool kid at the lunch table. You may not even like that person. They may be a dick to you. But you know what? Something about them is just so awesome that I still have to pump them up. I still want to sit next to them at lunch. I still want to be a part of it. It's this whole groupy mentality. It's this whole, I want to be part of the club. Right? So you're not even really thinking for yourself. Right? So these reviews are either um, tainted for the fact of because you don't like Kylie or tainted because of the fact that you just cannot not be a part of this club and this group, right? You don't want to be the only one who's not a part of this group, even if you hate it, right? It's still selling out. Why? Because it has her name on it. P.S. The packaging looks like shit. It's ugly. It's like cheap as shit looking. Who the hell uses a foaming face wash these days, you know? Wash your face with oil, if at all. Don't even wash your face. I rarely wash my, wash my face and I literally have like the smoothest, cleanest skin with no wrinkles. Like, come on. Or wash your face with oil. Look it up. Wash your face with olive oil. People think, oh, my skin's so oily, oily, oily. Let me use alcohol, alcohol, alcohol. Dry it out, dry it out, dry it out. But when you're drying your skin out, it's telling your skin, oh, you have dry skin. Activate that sebum, make more oil. Fight, just like um, when you have heartburn, and don't quote me on this because I don't want people to like come at me, but if you have heartburn, they say drink apple cider vinegar. You're like, why would I put acid on acid? Because if, and it works by the way, I've used it, but consult your doctor, I'm not a doctor. Um, because if you keep taking Tums and calcium supplements and calcium supplements, you're telling your body, I don't have enough acid. I don't have enough acid. Produce more, produce more, produce more. Same thing with dry skin. If you're constantly drying your skin out because it's so oily, it's just going to make more oil. And note to teenagers, you're going through puberty, so your skin's just going to be extra oily and extra irritated. It's your hormones. It's not necessarily your genes or your... I mean, part of it is, but it's not necessarily like what you're doing wrong with your fake skincare routine. It's like your hormones are just creating that environment. So work on your diet, eat healthier foods, do things to help you from the internal out. So what I'm seeing with this is it has nothing to do with if it works. It's all about the packaging. It's all about the name. So why do we always just do this to ourselves? Waste money jump on these bandwagons because ooh, Kylie's skin, right? Literally, go watch the reviews. People are like, my skin is burning, I have to get it off. But they're still promoting it and still suggesting that you go buy it. How does that make any sense at all to you? How does that make any sense at all to you? So essentially, people are just worried about their loyalty and in general, in life, like, don't put yourself in a group of people. Don't put yourself in a situation just because it's popular, okay? You're going to be the one who ends up missing out or screwing up or getting hurt, right? It has nothing to do with the skincare line working because clearly it's just a bunch of bullshit you can buy from the drugstore, okay? If you want good serums, you got to pay for them. If you want good products, you have to pay for them. And... Honestly, the more natural you go, the better. But if you just want to be a part of the group and a part of the bandwagon, then go do that and just 
don't worry about the products work because they're not <laughs> in most cases things don't claim to do what they say they're going to do and anything any kind of product doesn't have to be skincare All right we know this by now marketing is a hell of a drug people just you know are able to sell even just watch her when she does her reviews or anything she talks quietly she barely puts in any effort you guys it's like she's embarrassed like she doesn't want to do it but yet she's a billionaire yet we still pay her and she doesn't do anything but stand there and look pretty and i'm nothing against kylie jenner i still i, I actually follow her on instagram because i like looking at her pictures <laughs> i don't know why <laughs> call me a bandwagon jumper whatever but um um I think for me, I just like to stay because I'm so kind of off the grid. I like to stay in the loop in certain things just so I don't turn into a complete hermit. <laughs> um, yeah, so essentially, so, so, so what does that say about loyalty, right? I mean, yeah, being loyal to a person, loyal to a brand, loyal to something, that's a good thing if you believe in the product or just like a friend or a boyfriend or a girlfriend if they cheat on you but like most of the time they're nice and cool I'm just gonna stay loyal and stay in this relationship but you know it's toxic and bad for you but you're still doing it people are afraid to speak up for themselves people are afraid to um, change people are afraid to admit that um, you know, they, their ideas and their opinions are against the average person's. And I think if we all sat down and, you know, I think it's more the curiosity to cut myself off. The curiosity of wanting to know, like, I want to be a part of this Kylie skin thing. I don't want to be left out. And I think that's what they use as their marketing, as their ploy. A lot of these kind of companies, a lot of these influencers and things like that. It's all about being a part of the group. You don't want to not be the only one who never tried the Kylie skin, you know. You don't want to be the only one who doesn't like it. But when I grew up, it was more important to be a little bit of the outcast, to be the one who, you know, challenged the norm. The more, the more unique you were was the more popular in a way, if that makes sense. You know, the more you were just kind of jumping on the bandwagon, the more people noticed and they were like, do you really like that? Do you really, are you really for what you're saying? You know? So I think realistically 12, 13, um, you know, it's a lesson in like, not like doing things just for this growing up, really doing things just because everyone else is doing them. You're literally sitting there saying your skin's burning off. <laughs> and now you're promoting it and you're like saying, no, but like buy this and buy this. I approve. I want you to buy this. Kylie loves me. I don't want to not be on a PR list for those of you who are doing all that bullshit. Go watch Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star's review. It's literally one of the most hysterical things I've ever seen in my life. You've probably already seen it, but it's really freaking funny. Really funny. Um... <laughs> And honest and although he has a thing against her products you know I still think it was unbiased I think it was realistic whatever they were saying and um, I know they'll never use them again because Shane's face was burning off <laughs> but anyway I've seen a, a couple of like you know a handful of videos about these products but really it's the products aside it's the fact that people just are literally they don't want to be the one that like is left out be the one that's left out that's how people start things that's how things are created that's how entrepreneurs get big in life you just do what you would think is best for you not what's best for the person next to you and don't use a skincare product that's gonna burn your face off just to be a part of the group all right um, yeah just a mini life lesson I love you all be good bye <laughs>